Hi everyone, it's Heather Nichols and I hope everybody's having a great day at summer camp. We're going to make some felt embellishments for our next crafty project and we're going to start off with some felt bases and we're going to do a simple running stitch around the edge of it. So I cut this felt base from the 1 and 3 fourths limitless layer die and I'm going to just do a running stitch around the edge. This is just regular embroidery floss. I split it, you know how embroidery floss has six strands, I split it so it's got three. There's just a knot on the end and I'm just going to do a simple running stitch over under, over under, all the way around the little felt badge to give it just that simple stitched edge. And I know not everybody is into sewing but I just love to do some of this little detail work so I am going to do that on here. If you choose to do a felt embellishment and just leave the edge plain you sure can do that. So again I'm just going over under over under and if you watch what I'm doing I'm actually loading up my needle with several stitches before I pull. Um, this is kind kind of um, a way to keep your stitches actually pretty even. It helps to do that. Um, as I'm going around, I'm staying about um, an eighth of an inch inside the border of the circle. And it, of course, you don't have to be exact. And, you know, my stitches by no means are, are even. And so don't stress too much about it. We're just trying to add a little bit of detail and a little bit of that handmade touch around the edge of the badge. So kind of, you see these badges everywhere and instead of paying, you know, four or five dollars for this little package of embellishments, I've seen them, you know, embroidered like a regular badge or made out of paper or you might see them actually made into a button covered with plastic. Um, you know, there's so many different variations. Here's what I'm doing at the end here to knot this. I'm actually tucking my needle through. Um, I'm not going all the way to the front, just catching a little bit of that felt, making a loop, and then I'm just pulling it to secure it. You know, this is going to be on a paper project. It doesn't need to be something that's going to go through the wash, so don't stress too much about, you know, just make sure it's secure. So here I've got some already sewn up. Next we're going to go into picking pattern paper. These are just stuff that I pulled from my collection, and then I just started die cutting shapes that will fit onto that one and three fourths circle. Um, I ended up, you know, doing from a couple different die sets. That's from the Love Lives Here die set and um, I decide actually not to use these. So I really just laid out my circles, die cut a bunch of shapes, and then I'm laying them out onto the felt shapes to decide what I really want for my felt badges. Um, I knew I wanted something summery, something springy, and I kind of kept with the color palette of Aqua Mist, Summer Sunrise, and um, Melon Berry. So I've got some craft antique linen felt kind of color in there too. Um, so as you can see, I'm really just playing around and figuring out what I want. I end up picking the butterfly and the bird from Happy Trails. That's the die set from the Happy Trails stamp set. And then also um, the one flower is from the Beautiful Blooms die set. And this is what I end up doing. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a clip of a sentiment on there and it's just going to be tiny and to stamp out a bunch just so you know you have a bunch for if you're making multiple um, felt badges. I just cut a quarter inch strip from white cardstock and I'm just taking these sentiments. These are from the mixed messages set. This is a set from way back and there's these tiny little words in there that are perfect for doing on a tiny little snip of paper. So I have enjoy stamped across and smile and now I'm just stamping wish. Then go ahead and take your scissors and we're just going to snip. I'm not being too exact. I don't need my paper cutter for this. It's so tiny and if it's a little bit off, no one's really going to be able to see. So I'm just snipping that, snipping those little wishes off of there. And I'm going to go ahead and I will cut all of those off as well. So an easy way to get a bunch of little snips of a sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to arrange them on each one. I'm kind of want an assortment, so I'm going to make sure that I'm not using one word too many times and make sure that the words are spread out between the different images. So I have a good variety of little badge designs to, to choose from when I'm ready to do my project. Already these are looking so cool and you can, if you think about it, you have seen things like these in the craft stores. I know I have. I've probably bought many of them even though I can make my own. 
it is definitely fun to make your own so that it can coordinate with, with whatever project that you are doing. I have actually done these in the past for Christmas using Christmas punches or Christmas die cuts. I'm going to glue them on to the felt. I'm using a liquid glue. This here I'm using is the zip dry glue. Um, you can use whatever adhesive you want to stay. You could run it through your Xyron to get it to stick on. But um, for the felt in the paper, I think the zip dry, then I know it's really not going to come apart. So that's why I chose to use that particular um, type of glue. So I'm just gluing them all on and gluing those little tiny pieces on to each badge. After I have the base of my badges done, I'm going to go in and add embellishments. These are just some tiny rhinestones. I believe they're made by Hero Arts and I'm they're kind of glued in a string. So I'm using three of them to do the butterfly body. And so that's that embellishment for that. Next, um, I decided to do some buttons for the centers of the flowers. And I just went back and took my needle and embroidery floss and I'm just going to stitch on that button. So I'm just poking the needle right through the cardstock the, or pattern paper and the felt right there. And I'm leaving a tail in the back and going to go through the button like twice so that it's secure on there. And then after I get my thread th sewn through twice, I'm just going to take the two ends here and just tie them in a double knot. This is on the back. No one's going to see it. So that'll be nice and secure and I know my button is not going to fall off. And then finally a simple rhinestone added to the bird. I'm just going to stick it at one end of the sentiment just to give it a little extra sparkle and um, this kind of finishes off that particular badge itself. So sometimes you don't really need to do a whole lot. Just keep it simple and they turned out beautiful. Now you can take your badges and I mean you could use these on a card or a scrapbook page. I'm going to do some simple little tags. These are these little embellishments are so cute. You could use them as just kind of you know an accent um, but you could also use them for kind of the main part of your project too. These little tags would be so sweet to tie on to a little package for a friend or you know um, put on a scrapbook page even just as a tag too. So I'm attaching um, more of the pattern papers to the bottoms of the tags I cut from craft cardstock. These are part of the, the pattern papers are part of the pattern packs that are new this year which are very fun. I really like the monotone color selections and how much fun they are to work into pro projects. And then just decide you know which which badge is going to go on which color because I'm I'm doing three here with three different colors so I want to make sure I spread out my color choices and that I don't have like you know up there with the butterfly with the melon berry that's cute but I think I want something um, kind of with a contrasting color versus doing the same color for the base of the felt so I chose the bird. And then to attach these to the tag again, you could use whatever adhesive you want. You could run it through a Xyron machine. I'm going ahead and using the zip dry glue just because with the felt and the cardstock, I know it's going to stick and it's not going to come apart. And finally get that last felt badge attached to that tag. And I have three tags ready to go. And I have extra embellishments to use. I can make more tags or use them on a future project. So now it's your turn with all of the handmade embellishments that you have learned about today. Make one. Um, maybe you want to make the felt badge embellishment. And then um, we want to see what everybody has created. So make sure you go to Nicole's blog to share. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.